guys and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Jordan and I make beauty, fashion, and lifestyle type videos and it would mean the world to me if you stuck around and subscribed to my channel. So today I thought I would do another back to school type video since as we all know back to school season is upon us and I tend to find myself binge watching back to school type videos so I thought I'd make a video all about how to be productive. Like I said in my previous back to school video, I'm going to be an upcoming junior in college so these are just the things that I've learned over the past two years and even in high school that have helped me stay focused and productive so I thought I would share these tips with you guys. Also really quick before we jump into this video, make sure to follow all my social media. I will have them linked down below and without further ado, let's just hop right into it. So the first tip I have for you guys on how to be productive is to make to-do lists. I make to-do lists every single day right when I wake up I sit down at my desk and jot down a list of all the things I want to accomplish throughout that day and I find this really helps me stay on track I cannot stress this enough guys to-do lists are so important to me it's a great reminder for myself on what I want to get done and they're just super helpful so you don't forget to do anything these are especially helpful during the school year when you have assignments due or studying to be done which there's always studying to do so I just really recommend you guys make a to-do list every single day even if it is on a weekend and you don't have school related stuff to do it can literally be anything as simple as like either chores or errands you want to do my second tip for you guys is to have a cute and clean workspace although some people might not think this is an important tip I cannot stress this one enough for me personally this one helps me a ton as you can see right here I'm sitting right in front of my desk I just love the setup that I have it really sets the mood and puts me in a great mindset to do all my work and get everything done if you have a messy workspace then it's really hard to get stuff done because a you have a lot of clutter and B you can get distracted so easily so I really stress you having a clean workspace as well as decorating it the way that you would like rather than being in like a bland blank desk space the third tip I have for you guys kind of piggybacks off the second tip and this tip is to go to your favorite cafe or coffee shop and just get some work done there for me Starbucks is my go-to place to do work at if it's not at my house I just really find that when I'm in an environment away from my house I can really focus better and get more work done and of course Starbucks is like my favorite place to get coffee so I find that if you grab your favorite drink and sit down with your homework or whatever work you have to do it keeps you plugging along and who doesn't love coffee similar to tip number one my fourth tip for you guys is to set small goals for yourself these shouldn't be long-term goals these should be short-term goals and they really can be pertaining to anything you want setting goals for yourself gives you a way to work towards what you want to accomplish and it's just a really great reminder for yourself especially on days that you're just feeling like you don't want to do anything setting small goals will get you right out of bed and back on track for example a small goal I have for myself is to focus more on YouTube and to get one or two videos up every week I definitely think this is a reachable goal but it still pushes me and motivates me tip number five is to have cute supplies some people really might not care but I honestly love cute school supplies they just make everything so much more fun and I'm always so much more excited to write stuff down if I have a cute planner instead of just like a bland boring one my favorite place to look for planners is TJ Maxx Marshalls or home goods they all have really cheap and really really cute planners I actually got mine from Marshalls this year I also love Lily Pulitzer planners but those are a little bit pricier again just having really cute stationery will get you like excited to write stuff down or to take notes and stuff like that so my sixth tip is to listen to music while you study now this doesn't mean like screamo or pop you don't want to be listening to anything that will be distracting in any way whether it's super loud 
or your favorite songs that you jam to. For instance, if you listen to pop music or like your favorite songs ever that are like super upbeat, you'll get off topic of what you're trying to focus on and start singing along. At least that's what happens with me. So I love to listen to a Spotify playlist. I have one I made for myself. It's called Caramel Macchiatos. It's a really chill vibe. Um, it's mostly like alternative and indie music. If you guys wanna check that out, you can check down below. I'll have it in the description. But really any kind of like study music helps me zone in on what I'm doing. And the last tip I have for you guys, of course, is to give yourself some downtime and time to relax because if you don't give yourself any breaks, you'll just burn out and get really bored of what you're doing and then start to get off topic. This way, if you plan set break times for yourself, it'll give you time to unwind and relax. Then you can get right back into focusing and working on whatever you're doing. It's much easier to do work when you have like say an hour of work time and then a half hour of break and then another hour of work rather than trying to do two hours of work straight through. I would find myself getting really distracted and unmotivated and just like Board. That was my last tip and that wraps up this video. So those were all of my tips. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up and again, subscribe down below if you're not already and would like to see more of my videos. I say this in every single video, but just as a reminder, I am doing a giveaway when I reach 1,000 subscribers and I'm really, really close. So help me get there and stay tuned for the giveaway. I think that wraps everything up. So thank you so much for watching. I love you guys and I will see you next time. Bye guys.